High winds, large hail, maybe an isolated tornado, and flash flooding possible in multiple states. Good morning, I'm Meteorologist Pew. Today is July 21st, 2025. So unlike the last few days, we only have one slight risk or a two out of five in the Northern Plains today. And what that entails for the Northern Plains is that we have a 15% chance to see winds up to 60 miles per hour, large hail, and maybe even an isolated tornado or two. In terms of flash flooding, the Weather Prediction Center has issued a slight risk for the Tennessee Valley. And this is due to the remnant convection that happened in central Illinois yesterday that produced a lot of rain. And this system is gonna move into this area. Scattered places in the Tennessee Valley can see rainfall up to one to two inches of rain, but then in isolated places may see two to three or more. Something I do want to point out that the Weather Prediction Center hasn't issued is that there may be heavy rain on the border of Kansas and Nebraska. Currently right now there's an MCV or mesoscale convective vortex or basically a localized circulation that's headed into this area this afternoon and evening that may provide some convective lift to produce a lot of thunderstorms in this area. Now this is a little conditional meaning that there are some factors in place that are preventing convection from happening to make these storms. So for example if we look at 500 milliwatts, we can see that the air aloft is really warm and that's not really good for thunderstorm development because air parcels, the greater the temperature gradient between the air parcel and the environment, the faster the air parcel would rise. But this area in the Tennessee Valley, if we look at precipital water or how much moisture is in a fixed vertical column, we can see that the values are over two, which is an extremely moist environment. So if thunderstorms do develop, it's gonna produce a lot of rain. And so for the Kansas Nebraska border, we're talking like two to three inches of rain. Okay, so time frames. The Tennessee Valley looks like storms are gonna start popping up around 19z or 3 p.m. Eastern time. For the Kansas-Nebraska border, it looks like 18 to 19z or 1 to 2 Central time. And then for the Northern Plains, 20z or 2 p.m. Mountain time, and this will intensify into the evening. Okay, now looking at the Northern Plains at 500 millibars or midway through the troposphere, we can see that we have a really nice jet, and this is going to provide really good shear, and it's going to tilt those updrafts and prolong those storms that are going to form. Looking at the surface, we have a really long and broad stationary front that's going all the way from Montana, Northern Plains, Central Plains, Tennessee Valley, and this is going to provide pretty decent surface lift. Taking a deeper dive, we've been having a high pressure in the Gulf that's been providing warm moist air into the Central Plains. But we've also been having a low pressure that's been sitting in the Eastern Rockies that's been doing southeasterly flow and it's pulling in that moisture into the Northern Plains. And because these southeasterly winds are going into higher terrain, they're physically being pushed up, which is going to provide more surface lifts. And we call that oreographic lift. Now taking a look at satellite imagery in the Northern Rockies, we can see that most places have clear skies and that's going to be good for diurnal heating, more surface heating, more instability for this area. And a similar thing can be said about the Tennessee Valley. We have somewhat clear skies. And if we look at the Kansas-Nebraska border, we can see a little bit of that rotation of the MCV and it's headed into an area where there is no clouds. And so these areas are going to have an increased chance to see the thunderstorm development. And we'll see whether or not there's enough heating to break that cap. And that's why we have high